Either it's time to replace that box of baking soda, or I need a bath. Here we go. Milk, fruit, cereal, and my cake! Ooh. <sighs> um. One slice for Stan, and the rest for me! Stan, breakfast is ready! Rise and shine! Yay! <laughs> I was testing a new recipe and I wanted to try it first to make sure it was up to your layer cake standards. <laughs> and it's a disaster. You think? It looks tasty. Go ahead, try it. My face is disgusting, not the cake. It's not that bad. Of course, I'm used to it. Not my whole face, just this bump right oh, there. Oh, that is gross. Uh, it looks like a pimple. So you were the one who ate the last brownie. It's not a pimple. It's bigger than that. Well, it could be the start of what my cousin had. Your cousin Sam? You mean the one who had that hairy nose <laughs> growing out of the top of his head? Yeah, and it was a runny nose, too. <sighs> Ew, 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 oh, oh no. Mmm, <laughs> can you smell the fresh banana? Yeah, I can smell them, because I got a giant nose growing out of my head. Calm down, it's just a little bump. Bye, I've got some errands to do. Now try and rest. Wait, where are you going? No, 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 nowhere special. J -j 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 just going out to pick up some bananas. <laughs> Bye. It's small and pink and looks like a pimple, but not the kind you can pop. What can it be? It's shaped like a maraschino cherry, correct? Uh, well, Professor, not really. Not like that. These red velvet cysts with multicolored lesions that look like candy? Ah, uh, uh, no, but maybe it's closed. Candy, no. Then I'm sorry to say it must be this. <gasps> ah, the day! The Streptococcus fascista fossilitis. The flesh mutates into these huh? grotesque red globules <gasps> that destroy the epidermal layer of the skin. You're not serious. Yeah, I am. It's rare or dangerous. Here, take a look. But I, what, what should I do? I still need to buy the bananas. Is, is there a cure? Or stand? I have the remedy. Here are the instructions. Use once a day directly on the cyst. And this is very important. This ointment must not contact water. No water. Yeah, the water will cause the bubbles. They blow and they blow and they will shrill inside of Stan's stomach and get bigger and fatter. The night of the living boobles, Stan will rule the day he was born. He will freak out. Understand? Yes. Then here. Funny how you bumped into the professor at the fruit stand. Oh. <laughs> and he just happened to have the ointment I need. What a coincidence. <laughs> yes, yeah, small world. Uh, how about rubbing some of that stuff behind your ears, okay? Just in case. Here, let me help. Aren't you going overboard? I thought he said it wasn't serious. <laughs> oh, it's like sunblock. You should rub it all over your doggy self. At first, I thought you weren't telling me what the professor mm -hmm. really said because I had some sort of rare skin disorder. Uh, Isn't that silly? Uh, Take it uh, easy, Pat. That yeah, stuff stinks. Why do you have to be so negative? Me a headache. It's enough is nice. enough, okay? Yeah. You sure it was supposed to go everywhere? Yes, even on your pinky toes. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Hey, Pat, what's going on? I'm burning up. Grace under pressure, Stan! Don't panic! It itches like poison ivy! Quick! Water! No! Not water! You mustn't get wet! I'll call Professor Chi-Chi! You stay right there! Hello? Professor Chi-Chi? This is Professor Chi-Chi! That is really the recorded voice of the... Oh, no! What'll I do? Think, Pat, think! I know what I'll do! I'll make an antidote myself! What a brilliant idea! Of course! I was an A student in chemistry! I can do it! Stan! Good news! You don't need to worry! Huh? Oh no, Stan! No water! Get out of the shower! Please, Stanley! <laughs> no! Stan! You're all right! Your rash is gone! And no more itching! I never felt better in my life! Oh, you have some bubbles! Hi, Stephanie. Pat told me Stan's a little under the weather. Want to help me cheer him up? Of course. We'll take his mind off his troubles and offer him peace and harmony. Hi, you guys! What are you up to? We're here to visit Stanley. Want to come? I'd love to. Stanley is one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. I know my high school chemistry kid is here someplace, but I don't know where. Maybe the mice hit all my test tubes. Ugh, they become so anti-science these days. Oh. Yeah. What's happening to me? <laughs> Rubber gloves? Check. Science goggles? Check. Now, which one of these
these chemicals do I need? Here's one. Yo! Oh, Stan smells bad enough already. Next! This smells like rotten eggs. Let's see what's left. That's nice. Just a few drops mixed with saline solution ought to do it. You okay, Stan? I think you should go easy on the sweets till you're feeling better. Stan! I've got the cure! I did it! Stan, what happened? Stephanie? Stuart? Emily? Cool gloves, Pat. Stan fell down the stairs. Two broken ribs, a double fracture of the tibia, and a dislocated shoulder. When I put the cast on his nose, the plaster stopped the bubble releases. But make sure his bite doesn't get infected. My bite? What bite? The mosquito bite on your nose, Stanley. I have one just like it. Huh? No need for a topical gel with my brand new formula. Now, Stanley, open wide. <laughs> Incredible! His bite has disappeared. Yeah, but now it's on his backside. And now it's not just one red bump. Oh no! I count twenty-three. No. It looks like a raspberry. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> it was the test batch. Remember, this was an emergency. I'll go find Professor Chi Chi. <laughs> <laughs> Got the bucket and sponge, the broom, cloth you wipes. Dirty dragon! Hmm. Die! Yeah. Hmm. Pat, yeah. don't think you're playing hmm. video games while I do chores. Mow the lawn, sweep the garage, but and after Stan, that... I already cut the grass. Yes, but that was last year. Now move along. The professor said we could borrow his lawnmower. You know, Stanley, you are a nag. Hmm. Huh. Let's get a herd of sheep and let them hmm. chew to their heart's content. Hmm. Hello, professor. I'm here to borrow your lawnmower. I set you back of the house. Professor? But how could... But you were just inside. You're right about that, Pat. <laughs> that is mine clone. I created mine exact twin right down to the health code violating rodent hairs. I save money on uniforms because he has mine. What? You mean he works for you like doing errands and chores? Allow me to show you and demonstration. Attention, Ninja Chi Chi! Hey! Oh! Boom! Oh! Don't mess with me, I'm the most annoyed! Oh! I programmed him to speak with a New York accent, but I think it's made him angry or misunderstood. I need some alone time! <laughs> Super Pat, get ready to break a sweat! Here goes! Mm. Mow the lawn, take out the trash, and paint the house! Huh? No way! Shutters pop, canary yellow. Hmm? Super job, Super Pat. You hungry? Try this. Eat. Uh, sleep here, but be very still. Tomorrow you'll be busy. You'll need to re mortar the chimney, trim the hedges, wash the car, and then if you've been working as fast as you should, chop wood. That'll be easy. <laughs> sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You work like a dog today. What got into you? You like doing chores so much, I never wanted to interfere. I'm sorry. I never thought you could do things as good as me. It's like a new you. So true. Hey, 
what a nice surprise. Hello, Stan. We came by to thank Pat for everything he's done. That's great. It seems all these years I stood in his way because I never trusted him to do things right. I've changed my tune and now Pat's on fire. Pat! <laughs> Pat! Pat, you should add removing the wax from your ears to your list of chores. You got some visitors. To see me? Really? <laughs> Where are you going? Downstairs. I have company. What? They're here to visit you. There's no way. They must want me. Here, take these. Go back upstairs and don't move. Ladies, how nice. A gift for me? Yes, to thank you for repairing my roof and cleaning out my cellar. And for weeding my garden, doing laundry. Look, Stan, a wooden tie. Oh, how I've wanted one and a naughty pine. How do I look? <laughs> oh, Super Pat, but what are you doing here? I didn't push your start button. You never turned me off yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Oh, you're right. Well, let's go back upstairs and then... Well, back to work. <laughs> yesterday. <gasps> hey, you three look good together. Pat. You got something to say? Uh, yes. Uh, new glasses? No, they're not. What have you done to my sheets, huh? Yeah, well, I... Huh? And why would you replace my toothpaste with soap? I did? Oh, my. Uh, wait. I'll be right back. <laughs> ah! He escaped! Never trust a clone that wears an ascot. What do I do now? Stan! Uh, I need to borrow you. Huh? Uh. <sighs> You're right. It's you, Frank and Pat. <laughs> Pat, you have used a mind cloning device without my permission. I'm sorry, I made a boo boo. <gasps> what? Super Pat? What's up? I must sew name tags on all of Lily's diapers. <clears throat> sort Stephanie's crayons by color, then wash and comb Professor Chi Chi's whiskers. Wash and comb, wash and comb, 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 comb. comb. <gasps> <laughs> Pat, I'm so relieved. You turned uh, off your clone. Uh, huh? uh, yes, I must wash and comb. Whatever. No sense talking gibberish. Let's get him to the professor. We're here. Time to neutralize Pat's clone for good. Uber Pat goes over there. <laughs> Pat, we mustn't waste any time. There, open that chamber. <laughs> huh? Ow! Oh, oh. Yes, it worked just like we planned. Yeah. I'm really sorry you went haywire. I'll miss you. Bye. Stand back. It vibrates. Think of it this way, Pat. You're totally unique. They could never make a perfect clone of you. <laughs> right back at you, Stan. Yes, right back at you. Right back at you. <laughs>